happy March the 31st. Tomorrow's the first day of April. And it's cold as freak outside. Well, probably not as cold as our bow ties is, but it's pretty cold. I thought I thought it was gonna be a nice day. Because this morning it was all like well, no. This morning it was all overcast and gross and I'm like, oh I'm gonna have to walk home in the rain again and I'm gonna have to shoot my vlog with freakish hair again. And then around, you know, afternoon it got all blue outside and sunny and like just, you know, a little stretched out clouds in random places. You know how you find those hair you like feel like there's a hair somewhere. Anyway, so it's gonna be real nice. I'm like, cool, it should be warm walking hot feet there. I feel it, I feel it. There it is. I'm like on it. Um, no, I feel another one. Oh. Ah. I completely lost my train of thought. Outside. Something about up. Oh. Um, so I thought, you know, I'll get to walk home nice. And then I get out, I like leave the building and I'm about blown over by the wind. I was like, you know, I'll just walk outside and say, like, woo! I just move sideways like two feet involuntarily. Mm hmm. About fell over getting in on and off the bus because, you know, it's like you, you're you struggling against the wind and you're in and suddenly stops. So you're like, fall over. Again. Then walking home, all my hair was like this, and I'm like, I can't see. So I had to keep going. At one point, I think I was walking like this. You know, keeping my hair back. <laughs> and this really cute guy walked by, and I'm like, oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Shame. He was wearing shorts, too. I don't understand these people that wear shorts in, like, 20 degree weather. It's not 20 degrees out, but that's not the point. I know this one guy at school who wears shorts, like, year-round. He's worn pants maybe twice because his, he was sick and his mom pretty much forced him. You know, the whole, you are sick, you are wearing pants, you are not exposing yourself to the weather. Took my shoes off. Ah. Uh, I have a funny story. Um, okay, I was sitting in science and this guy across the room, I'm like by the door, like here's me and then here's the door. Um, and it was open and this guy on the opposite side of the room facing the door he he suddenly goes like this, like waving, and um, the teacher just kind of looks at him, looks out the door, Jeffrey, and I'm just like, Jeffrey. I know this kid, but he he's he's cool. But you know, I think of the uh, our Jeffrey, and and then she's like, Jeffrey, go to get out of here, go to class, and and then she she like walks to the door, get 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 get. And I'm like. Shooting Jeffrey. Jeffrey's being mean. Or Jeffrey's being bad. Jeffrey's a naughty Jeffrey. And so, you know, everything in my head just kind of <laughs> giggled. <laughs> that perf. Ah. Okay. Stupid forwarded text messages. I hate them. I hate them. I, I used to send them, and then they got where it's just like, what is the point? Like that one was like rate your friends one friend two bitch three sexy I don't know I'm just like da where's my pick no, I'll just use this one oh I guess see I have a certain pick I use and this one's like <coughs> it's ugly my other one's pretty but um. Well, here, look, I, I learned to play Happy Birthday because, yeah, two days ago, it's my sister's birthday, it's like, I'm on the wrong string. I had my finger on the fret on this one, and I was strumming this one, it didn't work. I learned to play another simple song. I can also play the um 
try to learn Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. And I can't, as I said like last week, I can't switch my fingers fast enough, but I can play the chorus for the most part. Here, I'm not singing it for you guys because, well, I'm just not, but I hate the G. The G's all wonky. F. F is hard. I looked at F and at first I thought it was something that wasn't. I'm like, ah, there are six dots on there. Oh, it has four fingers. Well, you know, four fingers that go on here. This is kind of me. But, um, then I realized they were like the bridges where you have to hold them both. Yeah, never mind. What now? Did that come in the mail? Yes, my friend, Caitlin Kazzy. She, um, I, I spent the weekend, well, Saturday, Friday and Saturday at her house, and I left two of my picks there, and she mailed them back to me. Uh, she said I was, should be expecting something mailed, so I got all excited, and all I found is this, like, one sticky note in my two picks, and I'm like, well, that's a bummer. Mm. Get at least let, write me a letter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> been quicker, quicker transition. It is hot in here. Quicker transition than what I did, but as I said, I'm slow still. Well, I did that wrong. T9 text is fun, but when you screw something up, it's like, what the heck just happened? What the heck is that? I don't know, but it's scary. It's the Death Star! You will never know what that means. Well, yes you will. I'll tell you. It's, um, David Cook has this, um, show called Pork Beans where it's like his band make, like, pretty much little, like, I don't know, behind the scenes vlog kind of thing. And my dog scratches. Um, and I keep, <laughs> you guys, um, and it's called Pork Beans, and one of them, they, like, they're showing, like, backstage, and they screen up, and there's this weird black circly globe thing, and, uh, the guy behind the camera is like, what the heck is that? And Joey is like, I don't know, but it's scary. What? Let him in! Yes, let him in! Come on, puppy. Come in. Shut the door! Shut the door! Come here. Come here. I do everything on camera for you guys. Well, not everything. Don't get me that far. But this guy in the background is like, it's the Death Star. And it's great. Uh, yeah, I've rambled way too much. I could do a challenge, but let's get things like back in pattern before we do that again. Because we're kind of a little off right now at the moment. Here, puppy, say goodbye with me. Come on. You're slow. <sighs> oh, I just fall down on my lap. <gasps> Wet nose. <laughs> oh, I got the whole fur in my head now. No. Blech. He still smells like the shampoo my grandpa washed me because he rolled in something nasty outside, but, God, the shampoo kind of smells. Okay. 